Okay, let's start with this sum. There are some spiders and insects in a box. Spiders have eight legs, the insects, bugs or ants have six legs and they give you the total number of legs which is 80 in this example and the total number of heads in the box is 11 and they want you to find out how many spiders and how many insects there are in the box. So the way we go about this is first we realize that they want us to find two things how many spiders and how many insects let's say the number of spiders is s and the number of insects is b for bugs okay now there's some one thing that's very important to note here it's not the spiders that are s what is s s is the number of spiders and this is what they want how many spiders are there and b is the number of insects now a lot of uh, this is where a lot of people confuse themselves they think s stands for spiders or s is spiders I'll state again, S is the number of spiders. So if, just to stress on it, if you were to draw up a column with the number of spiders, a table with the number of spiders on this side and the number of legs now S would be in this column for example, one spider will have one into eight legs. There's a reason why I write this one. Two spiders will have two into eight legs. Three spiders will have three into eight legs. Four spiders will have four into eight legs. That's clear, right? So S spiders this is the number of spiders will have s into eight legs this can also be written as 8s similarly if you take the bugs or the insects i'll say the number of bugs and our b will be here one bug has six legs two bugs have two into six legs three bugs have three into six legs therefore b number of bugs will have b into six which can also be written as six b legs now i can't stress this enough the number of bugs is b the number of legs the bugs will have if there are b bugs is 6b let's move further down so the total number of legs in the box there are s spiders which have 8 s legs and there are b bugs which have 6b legs and the our cat sum gives this as 80 okay now one bug has one head one spider has one head so s spiders have s legs and b bugs have b heads so s heads and b heads total number of heads is 11 now these two equations there are two unknowns and two independent equations and therefore they can be solved you can find out each and the first step towards doing that the reason I'm numbering these equations equation 1 and 2 is 
so that you can show to another person maybe an examiner how you are working it out otherwise you don't need to number them so the first thing that you need to do to solve a set of equations is to look at the equations now if you look at these equations carefully you will see that there is 8s here and 1s here 6b here 1b here so what you want to do is just have one equation with one variable which you can then solve there are a lot of ways to do this but what we will do here is a general way since there is b here if i multiply this whole equation number 2 by 6 so i will write that down 2 times 6 and that will give me 6x plus 6b equals 11 times 66 11 times 6 is 66 and I will call that equation number 3 now you can see that there is 6b here and 6b here so if I subtract this equation from that equation so 1 minus 3 equation 1 minus equation 3 will give me so 8s minus 6s 8 something minus 6 something is 2 something 6b minus 6b is 0 so that's why we did it that way to get rid of the b's and that will equal on the other side it's 80 minus 66 so 80 minus 60 is 20 minus 6 more is 14 which gives us s equals 7 now remember remember s is the number of spiders this is 7 now how do we find what the um, number of bugs is we look at our equations either we can substitute it in one of these equations it will give us what bugs is or we remember that looking at the second equation our total number of heads is 11 so s so i'll use equation number two and i have s plus b is equal to 11 now s is 7 so 7 plus b is equal to 11 if i take 7 away from both sides i will have b equals 11 minus 7 which is 4 so that gives us the number of bugs or insects so we can now write down the answer number of spiders is 7 and insects is 4 and before we finish we just do a quick check okay now there are 7 spiders 7 into 8 is the number of legs they have plus 4 bugs 4 into 6 will be equal to 7 into 8 is 56 4 into 6 is 24 24 and 56 is 80 so the first equation is okay and then 7 plus 4 that's s plus b or the number of um, total number of heads is 11 so that works out so this answer is correct i hope you got a few pointers thank you